has been Chris Mitchell, who joins me live now in his hood from New York City. Chris, you're out and about with temperatures expected to hit minus 20 Celsius on the night. How has it been for people getting to the venue, not just yourself? <laughs> Tolson, 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 in, in all seriousness, a bit difficult for me to speak. I've been out here for a while and I've gone a bit numb. Uh, the authorities here in New York City are saying actually to take caution if you're out and about in New York over the next 24 hours. They're expecting the possibility of record low temperatures uh, for some 20 years. They could hit the uh, naught degree Fahrenheit mark. Anyway, we're not a weather program. We'll do the weather later. Let's talk about the All Star because inside Madison Square Garden, in around about an hour or so, we've got tip off east versus west. And all these people here, these hardy New Yorkers, are coming along. They're, they're not only hardy, they must be pretty wealthy. Tickets for this game are around about $1,000, $3,000, depending on who you listen to. I spoke to a guy earlier who'd got one for $800. Let's go down here and see if we can get to these guys. Guys, you got a, got a ticket for tonight? What? You got a ticket for tonight? I do. Wow, how much did it cost you? Uh, it costs a pretty penny. <laughs> well, it costs more than a penny. How much did it cost? Uh, seven fifty. Seven fifty. Not seven dollars fifty cents. Not seven dollars fifty cents. Seven hundred fifty. Tell me, I'll keep. Let's keep warm. Let's keep warm. All right, my man. Oh, brother. Now, <laughs> how how are you dealing with the cold weather? Is this unusual for you, New Yorkers? Uh, yeah, it's a little unusual. Yeah. How about you? Well, I, I'm quite cold. I come from London originally, and it's pretty miserable there most of the time. But this is seriously cold. You've just got this thin coat on. What would your mother say? Uh, she probably would disagree with what I'm doing right now. But, you know, I'm going inside there where get it's in, warm. Get in, get in, get in. Thanks, man. Right, listen. I'll tell you somebody who's got a good job. Alex South, because this, right, is an international event. 1,800 journalists from all over the world. This is going to be beamed in millions of countries. Well, millions of countries. There aren't millions of countries. Hundreds of countries around the world. And Alex South has been finding out a little bit more about how the NBA beams this spectacular around the world. If you want to know how big this game truly is, well, it's broadcast in more than 200 countries in almost 50 different languages. So many TV screens here. This is behind the scenes at Madison Square Garden where everyone is working towards putting on one of the best NBA All-Star games ever. That's what they try and do in every single game. Uh, I'm joined by one of the executives of the uh, NBA, Steve Helmer. Steve, you've been in, within the NBA trying to put on games like this for a long time, more than 30 years. How has it grown in the time you've been working for the organization? The attention has grown exponentially, and the platforms that we reach fan has grown too. So we have, we have satellite, we have fiber, we have cable, we have over the air, but now we have broadband, we have mobile, and we have social networks as does well. It, does it get too much? Never too much. It's a great time to be an NBA fan globally. And how do you concentrate with all these screens in front of you? It must be, it must be hard to pick the right shot at the right time. Well, we really focus greatly on the broadcast as TNT prepares it tonight, because it is a continuous entertainment from beginning to end. The crowd in the arena, there is no downtime. So there is no downtime for our international viewers either. What we do is we just seek to, around the edges, make sure that people get a real feeling that they're in the building. I do feel like I'm in the building, even though I'm outside in a very cold sat truck. Uh, we're going to go and enjoy the game now. Well, someone who's not enjoying the game just yet is Chris Mitchell. Chris, you've certainly lived up to the occasion. We've got no doubt whatsoever about that. But has the event... Well, listen, Tolson, I mean, it, look at these bags blowing past me, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness, the wind chill factor, you know, it's the wind chill factor. Has it lived up to expectations? Yes, it has. Look, New York dilutes everything, doesn't it? You know, you could bring any circus here and there would be people who wouldn't notice it. New York's got a lot of things going on. But I tell you what, I've been to five All-Stars and this one genuinely has got a real buzz about it. Inside Madison right now, it's got the feeling of the NBA Finals. You've, last night on Saturday night, we had people like Rihanna, Sir Paul McCartney, Floyd Mayweather. Hey, is Floyd going to announce this fight tonight? Rumours around town that Floyd Money Mayweather is going to announce the Pacquiao fight here at Madison. It's a rumour, it's speculation, please. Don't take that as fact. But those are the kind of things that make this event here in New York just that little bit more exciting. Definitely for me, personally, the most exciting all-star I've been to. Let's hope the game 
lives up to expectations. East versus West. I fancy the Western Conference. Lots of talent there. And I look around me now. Wow, look at this. Oh, my goodness. What a coat. Oh. Well, how are you in the house? I, I feel like I should bow. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> Can I shake your hand, please? Yeah, Just, sure okay. Thank you. Pleasure, Can you tell me about the coat? Oh, it's a mink coat, full length to the floor. Oh. Yeah, I came here to challenge LeBron's into a dress off. Uh, how, how much did this coat cost? How much did your ticket cost? The coat is 15.5. Wait, 1,500? 15,000. That's all we got time for. I can't, I, what can I say now? Chris Mitchell, we'll leave it at that. Go and get yourself into the heat because you're getting brain freeze, I think. Now in Spain's Premier Division, Lionel Messi's 300th league appearance saw him score his 31st hat-trick for the Catalans. They dismantled Levante 5-0 at Camp Now. The victory sees